Okay, so first of all, let's talk pumpkin chicken. Yes. Uh, pumpkin chicken is an annual event which happens in Delaware. It's actually a charity event. Oh, I'm uh, a fan. Okay, so <laughs> you know that you know, these guys uh, and girls build these giant contraptions in their garages and backyards to fire, the, the whole point being to fire a pumpkin further than anyone else across the field. Nothing could make me happier. It yeah. is awesome. <laughs> I mean, just the amount of engineering that goes into these machines. And, and you know, these are all kinds of people. There are rocket scientists, but they're also just guys who are, you know, a welder or a dentist or a fireman. I mean, everybody competes in this. That's so cool. So are you building something this year or are you just hosting? Nope. Yeah. Uh, this year we're just hosting the event. It's tempting to build one, but I think we've got neither the time nor the resources because some of these machines are, you know, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, oh. it's pretty crazy. All right. Maybe in your backyard, just because... I, again, well, you know what? I could, I could probably do a smaller scale one. Yeah. But for me, it's like I, I host the event, and so <laughs> I get that whole experience of being able to see what they do and, and that excitement uh, just from from hosting. And, you know, people can watch it. on. Uh, it's going to be on Science Channel on Thanksgiving. Awesome. I will be watching it. Yeah. Um, actually, you could just make a very, do a very small one with those little tiny mini pumpkins in the backyard and just, like, throw them at the local squirrels. Oh. Yes. Actually, no, don't hurt the squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> Not that, you know, it's, it's a very difficult thing, I think, to fire a pumpkin. <laughs> Totally. All right, so you have a zombie episode coming up with Mythbusters. I am freaking out. I'm so excited. You know I'm a huge fan of the show, so. Yeah, yeah. And Walking Dead. It's It, it was a really great crossover. Um, and for me, you know, because on occasion I've been mistaken more than any other person I've been mistaken for, for Steve Ewan. Yeah, yeah. Because people see me and say, oh, I know that guy. <laughs> Where do I know him from? Oh, yeah, he's on The Walking Dead. I'm like, no, I'm on Discovery <laughs> Channel. Like, oh, God, yeah. That's and so. <laughs> it's true. But, um, yeah, we've got a zombie special coming up. It is going to air next Thursday night at 10 o'clock, I think, on Discovery. And we have a couple of different myths. Uh, we had some fun with this one. We did uh, Can You... <laughs> um, Keep zombies. Like, how do you keep zombies out from, with a barn door? Will a barn door Ooh. be able to keep out a horde, or will a horde just overwhelm and push their way through? Ooh. And uh, Carrie Tory and I did techniques for escaping the zombie horde. This is if you've got no weapons, so you're weaponless. I don't ever want to be weaponless. <laughs> I know, but you know the, the the theory is zombies are slow. Yes. One zombie, no problem. You can get away from them easily. Two yeah. zombies, three zombies, you know what? You're going to outrun them. Yeah. But a horde is a whole different thing. Mm. And with the population density, if you can imagine, we're here at New York Comic Con, if you oh, can God. imagine <laughs> an outbreak happening here, there'd be no way. But also, we've got some techniques. Well, how would you be able to tell because some people are dressed as zombies, you wouldn't know who you're slaying? Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So That's terrifying actually. <laughs> yes. Yes. So um, so we've got that and then uh, Adam and Jamie do a uh, gun versus a knife. Ooh. See if you you know, like what's what's the best zombie apocalypse weapon in terms of being overrun? So let's say you're surrounded, you know, Kent is shooting a gun going to get you further than uh, a blade weapon. Okay, this is really important information because when the zombie apocalypse comes, I'm just saying I have swords in my house. Yeah, see. I need to know this. You're prepared. <laughs> it's really a public service it to, is. to everybody across the country. That's why everybody should watch the show because this is really important information. Okay, so anything else you would like to tell us about that you have coming up? Oh, yes. I am... Uh, uh, guest starring in a couple of Star Trek projects. So what? One is called Star Trek Renegades, and it's by um, the crew that did, uh, I think it's Phase 2. And so Tim Russ 
who was Tuvok on Voyager, is in this. Garrett Wong, uh, Robert Picardo, and um, um, well, uh, the guy who played Chekhov, Walter oh Koenig, God. is in it. So, yeah. So I am uh, going to guest as Chekhov's assistant. And I got to meet him, and you know we. We had a couple scenes together. It's really fun. How hardcore did you geek out when you found out about this? No, oh, super hardcore. <laughs> I, I gave up. I had a couple paying gigs. <laughs> and I was like, no, sorry. I'm going to go do this thing uh, for free so that I can so that I can be in this project. Oh, it's, my it's God. It's that much fun. Yeah, I would give up pretty much anything to do that. Yeah. Okay. And the other one is uh, Star Trek Continues, Ooh. which is uh, our second episode. I reprised my role as Sulu, Hikaru Sulu, uh, piloting the Enterprise. So, yeah. Okay, well, I have to ask you, have you thought about taking on gravity stuff? Oh, yeah. Gravity myths? Because, I mean, I don't know how easy that would be to test. Yeah. But. Pretty tough for us uh, here on Earth. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, gravity was cool. I I saw gravity um, the weekend before last. It was beautiful beautiful movie and it's very scary yeah. I mean for someone like me who I have a fear of open water me too and you know it's it's sort of like that whole thing <laughs> but even worse because you know you're in space yeah I did say after I saw it it was one of my favorite movies of all time and I'm telling you this from underneath the rock flat on my back on the ground yeah. and that's yeah. where I'm going to stay forever yeah. and ever yeah <laughs> No, there were some really, really cool scenes in there. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks a lot.